Alright, welcome to a new behind the scenes video. That little sequence you just saw was shot for a client over two separate days. And if you're at all curious about any of the gear I used, things like my camera, lenses, lighting, all that will be in the description down below. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I wasn't really planning on doing a behind the scenes for this shoot, but my friend Matt offered to grab some clips on his iPhone, and despite the audio not being all that great, I think you'll enjoy it anyway. So that being said, let's get this thing started. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, you're gonna grab the board here with your right hand, with your thumb like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Should we flip these? That might make more sense. What do you think? Okay, so you're gonna pull the board off like that. Then as you come over here, give it a flip and place it down. Yeah. In three, two, one. Oh, that was so close. One more time. Go. That was it. That was perfect. The last shot starts, uh, or the last shot ends, with the camera coming down as he places the board. So I think it'd be cool to have some kind of like motion blur transition and have like this top down shot of the knife going through the plastic. The reason I'm shooting from this side and not that side is because it looks more dynamic with that backlight. There's more of a shadow. Whereas from this side, going that way, it just looks kind of flat. It's not as interesting. So right now the blade is actually inside the knife. That way we're not actually cutting the plastic. We're gonna practice a few times. All right, we're ready. We're ready. I think that was good. I think we got it. <laughs> Two, one. So we've got the shot of the knife going through the plastic. I think it went pretty well. As the camera sort of pans up at the end of that movement, I think it would be cool to have like a mask transition out from the inside of the grip tape roll. And like, this is a really elaborate idea but I actually think it's possible. So we're gonna go for it. Should I put one hand here? Should I just- You don't, you don't even have to. Okay. So you're literally, you're just gonna be like, uh, actually hand on top, just like, kind of like a smooth, slow roll. Yeah, smooth. Here, let's just go for it and see. This <laughs> is really hard. One more for safety, but I, I think that was good. Three, two, one. Okay, so you're gonna pull that out slowly, lift it up, and bring it down. Three, two, one, go. A little slower. Two, three. Three, two, one, two. 
slightly harder. Three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, push. Are you ready? Yeah. So start over there. You're just gonna walk, grab it with your right hand, like that. You know what I mean? Like on the back. Like this? Yeah. And then you're just gonna keep walking. Alright. Okay. Three, two, one. Alright, one of those has to be good. That's a wrap. All right, shoot day number two for Nickel Brook Brewing. We're at the skate park today. I'm back with Tyler. He's gonna be skating for us, doing a few tricks. We're gonna start with some shots with the car, pulling the board out of the trunk. Then of course, Tyler's gonna throw down some hammers. Right, Ty? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So little like right here. All right, that should be pretty good. Okay, so the trunk shots are done. Now I'm gonna throw the A7 III onto a gimbal. We got the Zeiss Batis 25 millimeter. Today we're using the Zion Crane 3 Lab. You can hold it nice and underslung, which I think will be perfect for skateboarding. I have yet to try this gimbal, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're all balanced and ready to go. Filming skateboarding is tricky because you want to get close to the action, but it can be difficult to match the speed of the skater. Here you can see I'm filming with the Crane 3 gimbal while also riding a skateboard to keep the shot nice and smooth. Now if I were to instead run behind Tyler as he's doing his trick, there would be a noticeable bounce in the footage and framing my shot would be really tough. Now I happen to have many years of experience with filming and riding skateboards, so keep that in mind before you go risking your equipment if you do happen to try this technique.
Well, that is it for today's behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of the process behind how I made this video for Nickelbrook Brewing. Thank you to Sanction for letting us film in their skate shop and also a big shout out to my friends Tyler and Matt for helping me out on this shoot. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you guys in the next video.